when we do basic algebra, we occasionally encounter a situation where we have an equation that seems to be written backwards. We like to say x equals 15, but at the end of my simplification, I ended up with 15 equals x. This happens sometimes because sometimes the variable is on the right side of the equal sign, and it's nothing to be afraid of. I can turn this equation backwards if I want. When I see 15 equals x, if I wish, I can write it as x equals 15 because the two statements mean the same thing. Think about it in terms of the English language. 15 equals x could be said, 15 is the same as x. If they're the same, then it doesn't matter which one's on the left, which one's on the right. You can see that 15 is the same as x means the same thing as x is the same as 15. Once you know you can do this, you're safe to do it anytime you need to in your algebra. But I'd like to go into the reason why it works. And for that, we'll look at an example or two on the desktop. For my first example, I have five equals x. It's very similar to the 15 equals x example we had before. I'd like to write it as x equals five. But can I get it to say that while following all of the rules of algebra? Yes, I can. Doing algebra to this, I can decide to subtract an x from both sides. Anything you do on one side has to be done on the other. So if I subtract an x from both sides, these x's cancel. And my next line is 5 minus x equals 0. But I'm not finished. I can also subtract a 5 from both sides if I wish. So I do. These fives now cancel, and I'm left with negative x equals negative five. I'm almost there. I have the x on the left side of the equal sign like I wanted it, but I have these extra negative signs. Another thing I can do to both sides of the equation if I wish, is I can divide both sides by negative one. And when I do that, the negative signs will cancel. And when I simplify, I have x equals 5. I have the same equation that I started with, except written backwards. And these steps show that I actually followed all of the rules of algebra to get the equation to turn backwards that way. Well, this, of course, suggests a shortcut. Anytime we see 5 equals x, if we want, we can just write x equals 5. And we don't have to show all of these steps in the middle. Here's a situation where this might have to happen. In straight lines math, we have equations that can be written in the form y equals ax plus b. This form is very useful. It can be used to help the student to graph the line, and it also is often required as a final answer in math questions. They don't want you to just give an equation for the line. They want you to give it in y equals ax plus b form. But what if I'm doing my algebra and I have 2x minus 7 equals y? Well, the shortcut that we just explored shows that I can just write that backwards if I wish. And I have y equals 2x minus 7. My equation is now in the y equals ax plus b form. I have done what I was required to do. But I can also do this showing all of the steps of the algebra. If I wish, I can subtract a y from both sides. These y's cancel, and I have 2x minus 7 minus y equals 0. Well, now the y is on the left side of the equals, but I want to get rid of the 2x and the minus 7. I can subtract a 2x from both sides, and I can add a 7 to both sides. The 2x's cancel, and the 7's cancel. And what I'm left with is negative y equals negative 2x plus 7. I'm almost finished. My y is isolated on the left side of the equal sign, except it has a negative 1 with it that it's being multiplied by. So I can divide everything in the equation by negative 1. What I do on the left side has to also be done on the right side. 
all these negative signs cancel to leave me with y equals 2x minus 7. And I have achieved the same thing. I have written 2x minus 7 equals y backwards as y equals 2x minus 7. But I'm showing how I followed all of the rules of algebra in order to do that. Of course, once we understand this, we don't show all of these lines of algebra. We just realize we can take 2x minus 7 equals y and write it backwards. Remember that you can write any equation backwards anytime you want. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're watching this video on somebody else's YouTube account, go ahead and click subscribe anyway. I'm sure they won't know.